going from last year to this yeah. year, what have you learned about the show that you've been able to apply to your character and the development of your character? Sure. Well, I mean, I, uh, first of all, I, truth be told, I, I haven't seen the first season, but, but I have worked with Nicole and Eric before, uh, and they sort of filled me in because uh, it, all, it all happened very quickly when they offered it to me, and, and I started right away. So I didn't have time to binge, but um, they filled me in on sort of the broad strokes. But I think that there's stylistically, there's, there's quite a departure from last year, from what I understand, to this year, in the sense that it's more of a... Uh, it's more serialized. There's less standalone. It's not really standalone episodes. The entire season is serialized, um, and the stakes are they're pretty high, and they stay high the whole time. Um, so there's there's uh, and there's a t twists, uh, constant twists, which uh, Nicole and Eric I've worked with them before on another show. Uh, they're phenomenal at, um, and and twists that are all earned. So, um, but I love the what I loved is. There's there's a humor. There's no question that uh, they have a great sense of humor. They're, they're, the world is, is, is enormous. It's outrageous, uh, and yet it's grounded. And, and for me, the challenge was coming in. I was hired to play a, a healer, Kai, a healer. I was finding a way to ground that character. Uh, and so I started immediately as soon as I got the role. Started uh, uh, studying Reiki healing online, and uh, and I've used that um, sort of a, a little bit of that to ground the character. Kind of flashbacking to your time on Bates Motel. Okay. Um, Alex was such a complex character. <laughs> so how can you like differ or compare yeah. your character in Midnight Texas to that previous role in oh. Bates Motel? Okay, cool. That's a good question. I um, that character was it was so layered, and I think the difference between Bates and the show that that you know that was more of a psychological thriller, and this is really a sort of a genre. It attacks the genre of obviously of vampires and. You know, and, and another in, in the supernatural world, um, in you know, in, in a wonderful way, in, in a really rich way. Um, I think the differences between the, the two characters are so vast. I mean, uh, Alex was so guarded, kept everything so close to to the vest that that, and I sort of wanted to continue that until I knew that Norma, he would fall in love with Norma Bates, and that, and and have her character finally open my character up. Only spoiler alert for those who haven't watched the show to 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 meet his demise because of that. Um, with this guy, he's he's pretty open. He's an open book. So for me, as an actor, to get to play a guy who was so closed to getting to, to to play a character that is completely the opposite. He's a healer, so he has to be open and expressive. Um, it was great. You know, as an actor, I always want to stretch. So this is a. It was nice to get to do that. What were the challenges of dealing with so many, so much of a mashup? You have to kind of like think in your head, well, this is kind of like not quite this character or, right. or this kind of creature or this expectation, but it is. You know, right. there's vampires, but they're not necessarily vampires like we know of vampires. There's, right. you know, were animals that are not the were animals. That we that we know of, exactly. I think that's what I love about it is, and, and that's what Nicole uh, uh, Snyder and, and Eric Carmelo have done so well, is that they, they, the characters are unique. They all have, you know, they all have unique qualities to them. They all have unique misbehaviors. There's, like I said, there's a lot of twists within the characters. So you, you, you think they're one way, then the, you, you know, you're, you're wrong. You know, so you're constantly second guessing. And even as an actor, you're like, oh, I thought my guy was more like this. Oh, and then you discover something else, some quirk about him, or, you know. So, so they keep you guessing as as actors and, and hopefully as an audience. Um, as you're filming, if you yourself had a Spend a day in Midnight, Texas. <laughs> yeah. How would you? What would you do? Or like, what would be your reaction? To if this I did, town? Uh, I'd worry. I really would worry because uh, you'll you'll see very quickly in the first episode. Uh, my character and and my wife Patience, we come to town uh, and and to open up shop here because we know this this town uh, as a healer. Uh, it has a. I could sense the energy uh, is ripe for for healing, and it draws a lot of people who who need healing to to midnight. Uh, having said that, when you have people with ailments and when you have catastrophes as as it happened last year, um, you're opening yourself up to uh, to a lot of a lot of problems. So I would I would yeah I'm fearful. If if I were to stay here in midnight one night. I'd be scared, especially the hotel that I end up opening in the first episode. I'd be a little scared of staying in my own hotel. Well, you're quite a veteran of a lot of fantasy science fiction shows, and you know there seems to be a group of actors that seem to 
find themselves in that, that that gives you a sort of permanence. You're going to have a fan base for the rest of your life. I've been very lucky and very blessed. Um, and, and it's, to me, get to get to do these worlds that are bigger than life. Um, is a treat because it's what, kind of why you got to, at least that's why I got into acting to begin with, is to, to be able to, to escape in a, in a world in as truthful a way as you can. And the, the more outrageous the world, the better because it, it's the greater the challenge to make it, to, to make it honest. What were the things that were uh, the biggest challenge for you? Uh, the biggest challenge, I think, I think, is getting around the concept of uh, that I'm surrounded by vampires and banshees. And <laughs> thinking, okay, all right, I, I just came from Basic. I was a cop, you know. I, I was in love with this woman. It was all very real, and now I'm surrounded by vampires, and that has to be real to me. And and I have to say these words as if, uh, yeah. It's a matter of fact, almost. It's, it's just the way things are. So it's, it's accepting the world and also accepting the rules of the world, which uh, Nicole and Eric are very faithful to. So they'll establish these rules at the beginning of the season. And, and you know, even if we, if we pitch a change here and there, they're like, well, no, we, we have to honor this rule. So that's great for the fans because I know once cool, right? I, 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 the, the good diehard fans are always sort of, uh, you know, they, they're rightly so. They, are, they guide themselves by these rules and because you're setting up this outrageous world, you can't, you know, you know if there are no rules, then anything can happen. So... Um, do you discuss the rules among you, yourselves with the writers? You know, with the writers. I mean, also with the cast. Or? Sometimes, yeah. And it, it, well, so we'll, we'll bring up a way of doing a scene, and then like, well, hold on a second. We, I can't do a healing this way because if you heal a supernatural person, it's different than healing a, a regular person. And so there's like there's 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 differences, which is great. Those nuances are great. What's been like filming in New Mexico? In this it's been amazing. <laughs> no, well, you know, I haven't really felt the heat, and you know, I've been mostly I work out on soundstage as well. But even out, out, outside, it's, you know, it's not too different to LA. You know, LA gets pretty hot too. But uh, it's been amazing, and I, and certainly to play a character like this uh, as a healer, uh, you, you know, I, I, you, not to sound all you know <laughs> weird or anything, but there is an energy here. I, you know, and, and maybe it's just because I've been studying Reiki, but. But uh, to prepare for the role, there is a, there is a it, an energy. You, I mean, you can't help as you drive in, you know, in this beautiful vast landscape to feel a, a different uh, set of energy. And, and we're, we're it's pretty remote out here where we shoot. These stages are pretty remote. As you, as you guys drove in, you, you, you saw it's pretty vast. The sky is so incredibly vast and beautiful and blue. And the, topo the topography is incredible. It's just so. People have talked about the energy of New Mexico, specific, specifically in Taos, uh, but I definitely feel it here, even in Albuquerque. Do you find yourself um, going? Do you think you're going to continue with Reiki? And uh, you know, I, now I'm really curious. Now that I got, and that's the, one of the great things about acting is that you, you do get to sort of go to uh, school in a sense, and in, in, you know, when you study your character. So I do. I want to. I want to learn more about Reiki. I've, I've I've had friends who've done it and say it's pretty powerful. So. Have you ever been able to discuss this with Charlene? The, the show and the characters? Do you talk to her? Did she ever come on set? No, I haven't. I haven't met her. I never got to meet her. No, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her. I've, I've only been working with, with Nicole and Eric, who, who took over the season, so I, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to talk to her about it. I wish I could have, but uh, maybe next time. You know, maybe next time I see her, we can get to talk shop. I want to steal one of your questions, which I thought was great. You, do you have favorite um, shows or books or... Yeah. Um, uh, characters that uh, inform you in some way you, within this framework or outside of it? You mean for this particular show? No, or it could be general? anything, but in, maybe oh. in the genre, in the oh, idea in the of genre. fantasy. Um, it sounds like you're quite informed in the genre, not just yeah, I, another actor. <laughs> yeah, no, I. it's interesting. Um, you know, not, not, not particularly, no. I, it's not like I, I you know... I, there's a particular show or book that, that I, I gravitate to when I do the genre. I, in fact, in the weirdest way, I actually try to ground it as much as I, I do. So I, I go back to my roots of studying acting to say, okay, how am I going to tackle this outrageous world, you know, and make it as honest and real as I can. So I kind of go there, if anything, as opposed to the opposite, because the world is already, it's already written for me. Now it's, if my, my job is to make it as truthful for, for the audience as I can. So, um, there, last question. So, getting the hand sign there, or whatever you call it. Um, 
How does this in ultimately inform you as an actor? How will it change you? How do you see this changing you as an actor? Does it open your mind up to things that you hadn't thought of previously? Absolutely. I think you know the the challenge as an actor for me and from the beginning is that you you always want to be present in the moment. You know, um, in any opportunity, you get to do a role that challenges you in a way that stretches you in a way. Uh, and 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 in, like any role, it still asks you to be present in the moment. Is a workout. You know, and it's it's you're, you're working out. You're working those muscles and, and that and that imagination. Um, so to me, hopefully, I'll continue to grow and try and be more present and in the moment in every role I do beyond this one. So anytime I work, it's an opportunity to 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 connect and be more present.